Hello, good morning. 451. 451. 18 degrees. I'm in my shorts. So, as I thought, change of plan. Last night when I got back to the yard, I dropped the trailer with an empty box on, hooked up to another trailer with an empty box on, went round the corner to uh, another trucking company that holds boxes and as a lifter, and uh, got rid of the box in there, got the box lifted off, which took me all of 10-15 minutes I suppose max in and out and um, back to the yard and finished so I was done uh, I don't know, five ish last night and then um, then uh, going down the docks now it's 10 to 5 and I'm um, was going to, where was I going? Oh, I was going to load out of Southampton, out of a scrapyard of Southampton and go up run up to Felixstone, but um, I'm not doing that now. I'm now going to uh, out of Southampton, on the quay with a loaded box and up the Swanley Coat, which is Derbyshire Way, right up there, and go up there and tip and then head back down to Southampton. So. Not entirely sure whether I'll make it up and back today. Probably get to Newbury. Worst case scenario, or worst case scenario, I might even make it back. Depends on the time and what they've got planned for me tomorrow. So anyway, yeah, no, it's nice and easy. I'm happy with that. Never been to this place before, so someone new. And I got to see the gorgeous Kira last night. Not that I went home, but she came in to see her mother, Doris, who I still don't know whether she has her operation today or tomorrow. I need to find that out, really. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah. Also, Dear, oh dear, 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 our neighbour, our next door neighbour, she's retired. But I think it would be... <laughs> I'd, you couldn't have more extremes in her family. Um, she's got two daughters and one son. One daughter is a policewoman. And... Um, yeah, doing rather well for herself, as done, she's in her forties, red light, and um, done all right, you know, doing well. Her other daughter, oh, green light. Her other daughter is a raging alcoholic, spends time in prison, and is up to all sorts of mischief. And her son, well, he's a bit of a drug addict, um, reformed and then slips back into it. Unfortunately, he slipped back into it, and uh, unfortunately, had an heroin overdose. As a result of that, um, he had a his heart stopped beating, and um, he was out of it for a minimum of 20 minutes. Could have been longer. No one knows. He's taken to the hospital, been in intensive care, induced coma, brought him round, and uh, there's nothing going on. So the decision has been made to uh, pull the pin. 
Now I can't even begin to imagine what that feels like as a parent. I have to do something like that. I just see it as a total waste of life. two rules of force here, you can either go, oh it's a drug addict, drug addict and a drain on society therefore, well, he ain't no loss, which is harsh but true, or you can go, what led him down that path in the first place, and what could have been done to stop him from going down that path? Was there help available? And it's it's all very well saying, oh, you know, people shouldn't need help. Well, unfortunately, he's flashing his lights for four ways. Well, do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, if you mix with a, you know, if you dance with the devil, don't be surprised when he steps on your toes. Do you know what I mean? The, the, the most part of me turns around and goes, well, that's just a waste of a life. It's just life wasted. What? Well, waste of a life? Life wasted. And my heart goes out to my neighbour who has to make that terrible decision. But it is the only decision. You know, there's only, there's only one choice she, could, she has to make, isn't it? But being put into that situation, you know, there, there, there is only one option. But having to do it is not something that you really want to ever be put into that position, is it? You know, you shouldn't. So I can, iman I, I, I can imagine from her side, there's... There's the torment of grief and anger. life wasted yeah. tough 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 you can't stop physically stop people with addiction Those people with addiction want to want to do something about it themselves. Need to be able to do want to do something about it themselves. Because if they don't want to do anything about it, or they can't be asked, or can't be bothered, then it ain't going to work for them, is it? What a waste of a life. Oh, well done, you absolute chopper. Clever cook. Why would you do that? Overtake to have to slam the brakes on the cut in front of a truck to turn left. I, I don't understand. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I don't know. I'm beginning to wonder about my own sanity <clears throat> and whether I'm just thinking too deeply about other people's fuckwittery and that's affecting me. Didn't sleep well last night. I think I've had too much sleep. You know what I was saying about, oh, I've had plenty of sleep, I had 12 hours the night before. Well, I, I, I struggled to get to sleep and then last time I looked at my watch was half nine so I knew I was awake until at least half nine and then I probably drifted off sometime after that. But I was wide awake at two o'clock and I have been since. I never got back to sleep again. So one step forward is two steps back.
this here is getting narrower and narrower. They're encroaching, encroaching more and more on this right hand lane look. Surprised no one's uh, people have it. it. Narrow through there. Well, you see how busy it is down the docks. One box to go on. So I've got an empty skelly on. Drag it on behind me. degrees there's a lot, lot of sort of misty murky cloud about I like it a big ram down here. Well, I must admit, I wasn't looking forward to going to Felix Day today because I just don't like the place. But it's all right when you're there, I'll never have a problem. But. box. Now, Marmite have a unique thing where they can pre-book their VBSs. So they don't always have to go into pre-game. Or pre-authorization of all ours are pre-booked. But um, there's a pre-pre-booked if you get me gist. They get priority bookings. Uh, uh, probably the biggest operator out of the dock here. Sometimes they go in, but not always. One big boat, one reasonable sized boat, and there's another big boat down the bottom, so two. Uh, Two big boats, nothing in pregate, nothing on, uh, nothing on, uh, nothing in area one. So that's good. My box is just about, just over ten tons. So he's going straight in. <laughs> Got a loaded box. He's going straight in area one. All right for some. Right. I'll speak to you all later on. Hello. It's me leaving the docks. After 300 feet, bear left, then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. One box on. It's taken me over an hour so far. And take the first exit, Western Avenue. At the end of the road, turn right. Right. 
van a dar Looks nice, but well, it looks in good nick, good condition. Is that a cue to get in there? Looks like it. Well, it looks a fairly straightforward run into uh, where I'm going today. Bit of a queue now. After 600 feet, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, First Avenue. One hour six minutes. And I got stopped by security again. I got stopped yesterday morning. I got stopped this morning. Same cab search. And what made me what what surprised me was it was a it was a, After it was a, feet, a, a, a woman that did it. About and take the first exit, A35 Redbridge Road. And she said to me, she said, oh, you've got all the creature comforts. I said, yeah, I said, you need it when you live in it. She went, the roundabout live in and it. Take the first exit. I said, yeah, Monday to Friday, I live in the truck. She said, you don't, when, when do you go home? I said, Friday. When did you leave? Monday morning. Ah, oh, this is a, yeah. This lad in front of me. He's only got three twist locks. He knows about it. After a quarter of a mile, keep left. I, I, I said you've only got... You're missing a pin, mate. Now, in all, all intents and purposes, three pins will hold. So, hopefully he's reported it and After he's going to get it fixed. Mile, he's taking left, it nice and gentle. Then, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. I wouldn't have gone on the key knowing that I only had three pins. Keep left, then go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. After 600 feet, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, M271, towards the Midlands. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Mid axles down as well, so I think he's got a fair bit of weight on there. If it's a light box, you'd probably get away. You'd, you know, you'd um, the weight rating per pin you'd um, get away with. But he's obviously got a fairly meaty box Take on. Take the exit M two hundred and seventy one. Get out of his 
zwei. Yeah, it's not like it's not going to come off, obviously, but um. Shows what an ignorant bastard he is. Saying that uh, I'd um, score past six, so it would take about three hours to get up there. And I haven't got to be there until quarter to twelve. Uh, saying I'll be there at half nine. So, um, absolutely gallons of time. But I could easily evaporate, who knows. Anyway, that's the state of play today. Um, heading north. Tip. Head back down again. Speech is all later. Hello. <coughs> Blimey. Hello. I'm now 7.50. Doing alright for time. A little bit of cutting a little hold ups on the A34. That time of day, isn't it? So, um, nothing too dramatic. A couple of minutes, that was it. So, I've just got a couple more miles to go, and I'm pulling into uh, Chilwell Valley. I'll take a break, plenty of time. So, due, due in at half past nine, and I haven't got to be there until quarter to twelve. So, uh, gives you a bit of an idea of. Uh, the time that I've got available. A little bit of drizzle on the way up.
sun's trying to break through. I watched uh, Trucker Tim. Oh, I, I always I follow him and I watch him on YouTube and um, he's my mate, all right, you know. And uh, he's entertaining. He uh, he's done exceedingly well on YouTube as well and TikTok. You know, he's he's making some serious wedge. Uh, but he still gets not. This is a funny thing, isn't it? He gets he gets not. He, he does it because he's clearly he is passionate about trucks. I watched one a video of him. It was a little while ago now, and he was talking about how he, as a kid, he used to he used to as a young kid of eight or nine, he used to go down to a roundabout which he showed because he's a local lad. He still lives in the area that he grew up in, works in the area, lives in the area, and he said that's the roundabout. I used to come down and, and watch the trucks go round. Do you know what I mean? He is that passionate. He's just got. He was. He was, you know, since the age of eight or nine, he wanted to be a truck driver. And he's living his dream, you know, living the dream. He is living the dream. And fair play to the lad for doing it, you know. Fair play to him. Yet there's still people that want to give him a knock. And it's like, hang on a minute. Why would you do that? Alright, if you don't like him, just go and watch something else. It's not like you have to. It's not like he's making you. There's plenty of other choices out there. There's millions of hours of YouTube that you can go and watch. But no need to knock the fella. Because do you know what? What he's doing is he's encouraging youngsters, like he was, to come into the industry. Because like I've said before, the industry's full of dinosaurs. Kids don't want to be working 15 hour days. Youngsters today. Christ, our lad, he doesn't even want to work nine hours a day, let alone 15. So who do you think is going to come into the world, come into this industry in the next 10, 15 years? Unless it's people that are trucker team that encourages youngsters to go, do you know what? It's actually quite a good life. You don't have to be a rocket scientist, yet you can earn some fair decent money. You know, and that's what it all boils down to. Yeah, it's like... Not everyone's cut out to be a doctor or a solicitor. Not everybody wants to be a doctor or a solicitor. Some people just want to drive a truck. And people should respect that. But don't knock a fella for being enthusiastic over what he does. You know, he's had trucking in his blood since the age of around eight or nine. If not even younger. So I think his uncle, he, he, his uncle was a truck driver. I'm not sure about his dad, but he's definitely his uncle. And he used to go out when he was old enough used to go out on trips with his uncle, you know. So it's not like he's just come into the industry and he's decided to make a bit of money on, on trucking. The roundabout and take the third exit, no. M40, towards Birmingham, then take the motorway. He's probably got more miles under his belt than the vast majority of truck drivers of his age. In fact, in fa of all the Go truck drivers the of his age. And take the third exit, then take the motorway. Yeah, it always, always makes me cross when I see people getting knocked for um, doing what they're passionate about. If it's not your cup of tea, it's not your cup of tea, but don't knock other people for doing it. It's like, you know, if I want to go, if I want to, if I want to go and crochet fucking tea cosies and go fly a kite, I, I'm happy to do that. Don't, don't, don't knock me for it. I'm not, but do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like if somebody wants to go and do crocheting, let them get on and do crocheting. What's it to you? 
Oh, he's a bird. No, don't behave yourself, will you? He hit the right. It's <laughs> like, you turn. It always it fascinates me, people's mindset. If you don't fit in with the norm, it's like... And I think maybe it's a generational thing. You know, some of the sales jobs I had, my hey, dad used turn. to say, my dad, God bless him, he used to say, well, when are you going to get a proper job then? What do you mean a proper job? Well, selling stuff ain't a proper job. Yes, it is. No, it's not you want a you know, normal job. Didn't get it. Didn't get it at all. And uh, that still goes on. And it's a bit of a, you know. Do you know the After average time? Feet, bear right, then keep right. That people stay in the job these days. It's just three years. Three years. Watch out, watch bear out. Right, then bears! Right. I see no bears. I see no bears. Keep right, then turn right. Uh, no. But you know what I mean? Turn I, I right, know. then shut up. keep right. Shut up, shut up, shut up. So yeah, it's... Um, I don't know whether is it jealous is it jealousy maybe? Oh, I don't know. Blow successful, he's earning some good wedge. He's got a nice M3. Oh, what's going on here? He's got a nice M3. Turn right. Justin's a pot oh, coming out. Come on in, come on in, boy son. Come on in. Come on, Bryn. We're going to park. Let's see what's in here. How many people are still parked along the back? No. Uh, no. We're good. I'll go down the bottom like I normally do. At the end of the road, turn right, then turn left. Can't get blocked in then, can we? Let's go here. Right, then turn left. There we go. Jobs are good. Right, speak to you all later. Hello. <coughs> oh, blimey. Eagle eyed. Even show well. Mind you, I recorded coming in, so you know where I am. Look at that. Why would you leave as a truck? Look, you got a bins behind you and you leave a bottle of after 500 feet turn you leave left. a bottle of water there when you've got a bin more or less behind you I know it's full but why would you leave a bottle there complete and total blah does my head in turn left turn left let this lad come on through We have about an hour and a half to go. Should get in at 11 o'clock. Time now is 9.26. Not due until quarter 12, so. But good. Six 
keep right, then turn left. Turn left, A43, towards Middleton. I got the A40, A40, M40. M42, up a couple of junctions. Roundabout and take the first exit, M40, towards Birmingham, then take the motorway. And then it's uh, an A road. Oh, I can't remember what number it is. A bit of a troll now, and right now, a bit of a troll, hour and a half, nothing is it. And uh, not much to see along here, should be all plain sailing, no hold ups that I can see. And uh, yeah, like I said, we should be there about 11 ish. <coughs> Hopefully, get tipped and then uh, back down the road. Alright, I'll speak to you later. Hello, time now 10 40. 13 miles to go, thought I'd put you on. I couldn't, uh, well I was listening to the radio there and they, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing what they talk about on Women's Hour on Radio 4. Did you know that anal incontinence in women was quite, quite prevalent? suffer from it too much these days but after eight pints of eight pints of blackthorn and a vindaloo do you know what I mean I had a little bit of that yeah but I didn't know you could get it from giving birth The other thing I found disturbing was the old uh, Sharon Davis. Remember Sharon Davis, the old swimmer there? She was, she's written a book and she's getting a lot of grief for it, which I think is a bit of a shame because um, what she says is absolutely bang on. And it's like, if you're a bloke, you compete in the men's. If you're a woman, you compete in the women's. If you're somewhere in between, like you're a bloke, but you want to dress up and be called Shirley, you could, and you want to you want to compete in the women's section. No, that ain't right. You ain't doing it. You know, well, how, how does that even work? And then people getting all up at you, going, "Oh, yeah, they're they're being excluded." No, they're not. They're just, you know, you can't compete in a women's sport if you're born a bloke. It's it's just not on. I don't get it. I don't. I, I don't see how that could possibly be right, fair, in any way, shape, or form. Because blokes are different than women, biologically and in every way. You know, muscle, uh, bone density, everything, testosterone levels. You know, you just. And they're saying that some primary schools now, they're not having boys, you know, it's like school sports days, they're not having boys races and then girls races, they're just having unisex races. So of course all the boys are winning and all the girls aren't. Who's getting penalised there? It's the girls. They're coming back for the sports day, they ain't, they ain't won the egg and spoon race. They ain't won the sack race. 
That's because Big Benny Big Bollocks is sprinting ahead. Uh, the world's gone mad. The world is going mad. Anyway, I'm nearly here. Get it. Don't get it. It's all to do with like one of the well started off as a bloke and then transitioned to a woman and then wanted to be in the women's cycling team. And the women went, uh, hang on a minute. <laughs> There's a big problem. we've got a slight disadvantage here. Yeah? And uh, you, you know, you used to be a bloke. Now, now you, now you wear frilly knickers. It doesn't mean that you can compete with us. And it's not. That's not about being um, transgender phobic. You know, there's two categories, and they're, they're okay. What there should be then is a is a, a male race, a female race, and an in betweeners race. And then you can sort it out between the pattern, between a lot of you. But don't think you can just slot in just because you changed your name and had your knob cut off. You know, it's like uh, world's gone mad. I don't know where it's all going to end. I know where it's going to end. It's going to be living in a hut in the middle of nowhere. That's where it's going to end. After 1.2 miles, take the exit 11 A 444. Trent. That's the way we're going. Both sat navs are concurring with each other. So so far today we've done three hours forty. Stop Cafe. Is there a whistle stop cafe and is it open? I mean, it might be. We've already had a Greg's today. I thought this was a bit of a better road than this. Okay. Interesting. Trees are now in full foliage, aren't they? God, we only got a ten ton on the back. 
Tune heavy. She's got no weight behind her today. Take it nice and steady. We are in no rush. never know what's around the corner. Historic church. I wonder why it's historic. Is it just old St Michael's church? How old is it? Must be fairly old if it's historic. Can't see it. They don't normally have historic church signs so there must be something going on there. Or must have been something going on there, historically. Where are we now? We're in the National Forest. Oh, Robin Hood land, isn't it? Robin Hood? Yeah, that was the man. And his merry men. They must have been gallivanting around here a bit. Oh, fire tuck. He... Yeah, he was, he was here, wasn't he? So the A44, Burton. Go for Burton. Derbyshire. The cricket's in. Two miles time. Four and a half to go. That corn in that, that is it corn? I don't know. Probably corn. That's yellow. Over seal. I see no seals. And we're 30. Uh, we're going to be going through a, a little village, aren't we? Well, I don't know. Look at the, the new houses in there. Chip shop and it's open. 10 53 in the morning. Blimey. They must not have their chips around here. Now there is a funny looking church. Albert Village. Who was Albert? He had a whole village named after him. And see, there's the Robin Hood. I talk, well, Robin Hood, yeah, it was his merry men. Let's see the Robin Hood there. He 
he could have come through here, Robin Hood. He might have popped into the co op or the Oriental. Uh, chicken fried rice and a Kung Pao chicken, please. He might have been a regular. I ain't fired up, might have been. It's in the size of that lad. And why did they shave their heads like that as well? I, I, I never got my head around that either. Another unexplained mystery. There must be a reason for it. Forty there. I don't want to do forty. Not really the road to be doing forty. It's only just doable thirty for me. It's nice and white though. Ain't likely to lose me mirror. There's a little trailer there. I like little trailers. Oh, it's nice. After 900 feet, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A444, High Cross. High Cross. High Cross. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Okay, let's do that. and a quarter mile away, so in the far Mount Pleasant Inn Nothing. Could be a big chunk of metal. Oh no, it's a cat. Oh, black fluffy cat. Oh no. After oh. a quarter of a mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A444 Burton Road. Oh, well, where am I going? Traumatised by a bloody cat. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Second exit. Nobody coming. Straight across. Oh, down here. Sort of straight across. Tombs. Home furniture. Is it a Geordie? Back into a 40. Need a week. Thank you, thank you very much. 28 mile an hour. That's all I can do. Caught up on someone's lap last night. Some kid's going to be devastated. Along with their owner. Never nice to see that. It's never nice to see any dead animal, animal on the road, whether it's a squidge or a whatever it is. Right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A514, Cadley Hill Road. Hadley Hill Road, okay, I'm going right here. Industrial Estates, that's where we're going. 
Turn left. I'll speak to you later. Hello. <laughs> what a place. <laughs> How good is gold? It didn't take them. It took um, just under. After 300 feet, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A514 Catley Hill Road. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Just under two hours. To, uh, to tip, so not too bad, but uh, <laughs> back onto the bay drive, and um, before we cut the seal, we need your keys, I said, yeah, but after we've cut my seal, I need to pull forwards to open my doors, said, yeah, yeah, we know that, I said, right, so you still need my keys, yeah, what, just while you're cutting the seal, yeah, in case you drive off, what, okay, can't see the logic in that. What's going to happen? After 900 feet, go left on the roundabout. So I had to then walk the to the door. Exit, A444 Burton Road. Give me keys in. Go back to my truck. By the time I got back to my truck, he shouts up, "Yeah, cut the seal." Go back, get me keys. <laughs> Pull go the truck forward. The roundabout and take the first exit. Pull the truck forward. Pull the truck forward, open the doors, back on the bay, hand my keys in again. I don't mind obviously handing my keys in, I don't have a problem with that, but whilst I'm having the seal cut, jeez, never had that before. It's like overkill. The only way you're going to hurt yourself in there is if you decide to jump out of the bay. Then <laughs> that's down to you. That's no, not. Oh well, each of them own. Job's done. And then they gave me, oh, Bay 11, yeah, yeah, Bay 11, Bay 11, get the Bay 11. Nobody there, banging on the door, no bell, banging on the door, big, big RDC. Banging on the door, banging on the door. Go around the other side of the building, see if I can find someone. Oh yeah, you need to be around here, Bay 19. Well, why tell me Bay 11? Right, left hand, don't know what right hand's doing because there's too many, and there's two managers watching them. Don't open the seal, don't open the door, don't open it. After so this feet, is my lock, mate. Can't exit, open the door. I said, I'm not opening the door, I'm taking my lock off. Cross. Can't do that. I said, well, it's my lock. You can have a you can have a struggle getting the doors open with my lock still on it. It's up to you, like. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. 
Oh, I don't know. Yeah, oh, they're a little bit. Well, yeah, it's just they've got a level of management in there that's just not needed. And then again, it's, this is where we wonder why the cost of living, why the cost of goods are going up. Because of stuff like that. Just fuck wittery. So I should be back in the yard by about five o'clock. I'm going to stop for a wee, maybe less, maybe earlier. Depends on the traffic. Saying 1625. I might have stopped for a week. I got in there early and they started kicking me straight away, so that was quite handy. Follow A444 Burton Road towards the southwest for four miles. Oh, it's warm. Muggy. is going back on the key I found out. It's Thursday tomorrow, I don't know what the jobs for tomorrow is. I just want to go home.
going. Still at 40. in Acres Ford on beat Bravo. Past the historic church. Oh, hiccups. It's quite nice around here. That Robin Hood wouldn't recognise it though. I don't remember this being a 50 mile an hour road. I don't remember that big grand grey building up there. What is that? What is that? Didn't even notice that on the way in there. Some monstrosities in there. The DSV. Oh, we're off. 
trying to come around my way, then so I moved the over a bit. Oh, then bloody take hell. Them I thought he was just trying to be a bit bullish there, but he actually went off where he was supposed to be going. Just a matter of way. Speak to you all later on. Hello, look at some of these cars going by. AC Cobras, I'm not even sure what that is. I've just seen a GT40 go by. I don't know what that is. There's a couple of cage rooms up ahead. There's a kit car, there's a Cobra behind me. Some. They've all got UK stickers on. To find some sort of rally. All oh, rather sensibly sticking to the speed limit. It's all men driving. That's a kit car there. I don't think that's a fully fledged AC. It's not badged AC. Anything else going to come by? Well, I haven't heard what I'm doing. I'm going to make a phone call in a minute. Keep right. 
fast to be towing a caravan, my son. You gotta remember you got something hanging on the back here. Don't take long to get it wrong and then there's no recovery. Get one chance. Let's just get, get the speed down. any more nice cars to go by. So, 834 southbound, um, from past Oxford. And the climb is 15.05. So, I've still got a little way to go yet. Make sure I'm going to make it to 16.40 now. It's an hour and 35. Just about. Goes to five o'clock, I'm in trouble. Right, I'll speak to you all later, Rob. I'll make a phone call. Hello! There's been a whole rake of Porsches go by. I've just had a McLaren go by with a with a private plate on it. B E one one, so it looks like Bell. B N D, but it looked like an N. <laughs> Bell end. What? What? Would you... <laughs> you know when you see a word, but you know you see it on Facebook sometimes, don't you? And you see like. The first couple of letters are right, and then the last letter is right, and, you, and all the other mu letters are muddled up, but you, you can read what it says. Yeah. Why would you do that to yourself? I mean, uh, fair play to him if he, if he realises and takes he's taking the piss out of himself. Yeah, look at me, Bellend in a McLaren. Yeah. <laughs> fair play. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure I'd do that myself, though. Like. Yeah. Well, I've got... I've got to be in... Uh, I've got two trains to go on tomorrow. And at some point I've got to get them spun. And the first one's Leicester for nine o'clock, and I've got no idea where the second one is. He did say, but I didn't. I didn't take it in. So on the docks at four tomorrow morning. So the week is gradually getting earlier and earlier, like it normally does. So yeah, that's, that's more or less the state of play, really. Um, two twenties on, and the first one's going to Leicester for nine o'clock. Perhaps they go out there. He had a sticker on Le Mans Classic 100. Perhaps we're all going over to Le Mans. There's a Lancia Integrale coming up in yellow. Oh, look at this. 
Look at that beauty. sailing maybe must be or pool pool from a sure ball then you're in the right place to get down to Le Mans aren't you That's about the state of play. I've had nothing. I've got no uh, no messages through yet. The jobs haven't come through, so it might all change yet. Who knows? Who knows? It's ten to four. Twenty nine mile to go. There must be a hold up somewhere on the line, but. Uh, Probably down here at the bottom here, yeah. I don't know. I just want this week to be over. So it's Wednesday done and dusted. First day tomorrow. It's going to be fairly uh, fairly busy tomorrow, so uh, that'll hopefully make the day go quick. I don't normally mind 220s going on. does keep you busy but I don't know if I'm uh, there's a Foden there eh? Foden Becker Curb King so I don't know if I'll be back tomorrow night but it, it sucks the time out of the day I've got to go on the key in the morning and then I've got to get to Leicester then you've got to get the boxes spun, and then you've got to go back and get the other plate, and then you've got to get tipped again. So I don't about it really, um, I don't know nothing else. No, so, that's not a message. It's a reminder, take a break. But I don't need a break. So I don't know why it does that. Mile of the gallon, no, not bad. Okay, last chance to stop. What time is it now? I've only done seven hours of driving. 16:40. No, <coughs> we're pushing on. Here we go, what's going on there? There's a little uh, catering. Spider. It's a long old, <laughs> that's a long drive in one of those. All the way to Le Mans. It'd be fit, it'd be stiff. s &K flying by. Euro band. Right, 
right. I'll speak to you all later on. Hello, well, we are moving. Ten, fifteen mile an hour. Wait for the carnage going round and round about. Built in the wrong lane. Cutting across. You also have come people coming in from the left as well, yeah. Often accidents. Oh, I saw another accident on the M42 when I was going southbound. It was going northbound. The two lorries, one had just plowed into the back of the other one. Um, the driver of the lorry that had gone into the one, the one in front. He seemed alright. Um, cab was intact. Just the front end of his truck was all mangled up and the windscreen was shot to pieces. So I reckon all he required was new underpants. Well, that's what happens when you drive too fast. Oh, sorry, drive too fast. Too close. Don't leave yourself enough room to stop or not paying attention when the vehicle in front stops. That's you. Straight in the back. Stopping for Come on, you're being a pen in the ass. Get on with it. Woken up. So all these on the left here, I've all got to get into my lane. Bloke in front is going to let them all in. work out who's going to go for it. 
can always let one out. But which one? Could be the van. It's not taking the hint though. No, he's going to go on further forwards. come round in front of me, yeah. Always one, isn't there? Always one. Don't want to get stuck behind a truck. Of course you don't. of a mile, go right on the roundabout, and take the third exit, M3, towards Bournemouth. Okay, he's going to cut the corner, he's going to cut it. It's always someone that tries it. So my hand is firm, firmly placed, ready on the horn. Skills by everyone. Come on, Mini. Dawdling. Yeah, cheers for that. Nothing. Who knows? I'll speak to you all later. 